Hey guys, it's Allie with Bold North Frenchies. I thought I would do a quick video today because it is vaccination day for Sky and Kevin Hart's litter. Um, three girls and two boys, and they have already at four weeks had their Bordetella nasal vaccine, but now they are seven and a half weeks and we are going to be doing their uh, first round of shots. This is Sasha, right? This is Sasha. And um, so Mark is going to hold her I'm going to kind of first show how we mix up the shots. Now, um, my veterinarian will prescribe these shots to me. I get them off of either Revival or Valley Vet. So I can do these shots at home. And why I like to do them at home is bringing puppies into a veterinary office where there may be parvo or any other type of illness. I just try to avoid that um, as much as possible. And so really try to give them at least their first round of shots at home, okay? so. Let me go ahead and put on my gloves. Um, obviously you're going to wanna, I've already washed my hands. Can you just make sure she does, she stays safe. I have her on a nice comfy blanket um, and I'm going to start of course with sanitized hands wearing gloves, okay? So the first round of shots, I'm gonna show you in case you've never mixed up shots before, they're going to come with the shot solution, which is powder, um, as well as a sanitized water solution, okay? Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put on my glasses here, make sure I'm getting all of the water. Um, I'm going to put my, um, by the way, the needle I am using is off of Amazon. It is a three mil needle just like this, okay? So I am going to put the needle in the top of the, of the water, which is rubber, by the way. And I am going to suction up, excuse the dogs in the background. <laughs> you can go put her outside, Mark, if you want. I'll make sure Sasha stays safe. Um, it's wrestle time around here too for the adult dogs. Okay, so I have the water um, completely suctioned up into the syringe, okay? And then here is the powder solution. So I'm going to now redistribute the water. She likes to chew on my gloves. Hold on, Sasha, one second. I'm gonna redistribute the water back into this vial. I'm going to put my finger on top and I'm going to shake it, okay? So then it creates a pink solution, as you can see. I'm going to put that same needle back in. And now here is the vaccination solution that is going back into the needle to prepare us to give her her very first vaccinations. Okay, by the way, don't throw these away. You're going to wanna to put these stickers in your shot record booklets uh, for your new, uh, for their new homeowner so they know when they had their shots. So Mark is going to hold this with me for a second because I wanna show you where we where we want to put the shot so basically you're going to pull up on the neck and you're going to see that additional skin right here we're going to insert the needle right here so you're going to pull up and insert but first i'm going to sanitize the area with my alcohol and put that directly on her neck okay i'm going to pull up i'm going to insert the needle she probably doesn't like it Going to plunge it in, carefully remove it. The vaccination is complete. I am now then going for about 30 seconds. I'm going to rub her neck, okay? Just like this. And I'm going to keep an eye on her for the next 24 hours just to see if she has any reaction to the shot. Sometimes they may get a little bump, which is not too concerning, uh, but sometimes they just may not feel well or something after their vaccination. So it's important to keep track of them. So you ready for our next baby? So um, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so we have four more to give. I have already pre-prepared these, by the way, all of this needs to stay, be and stay refrigerated, okay? So it's really important that this stays refrigerated. You can pre-prepare your shots a couple hours in advance. I try not to, I try to not to do that, but if I, um, let's say I'm going to a guardian home or a co-owned home or something like that, I will pre-prepare these and make sure that they are in a cooler on the way there. So Stanford. this is little Stanford. Isn't he adorable? Um, okay, so same thing. Hello, Stanford. And I'm going to pull up on his neck. First, I'm, of course, going to sanitize the area. Again, shot is already prepared. 
going to pull up, insert, and that's it. As you can see, it's not super painful. He would probably yelp if it was. Good boy, good boy, good boy, Stanford. All right, his shots are done. And again, these puppies at four weeks have already had technically their first vaccination, but it is, it is a nasal vaccination. It's not a needle. It's a liquid that you put in both nostrils that prevents Bordetella. So we do that at four weeks, and then we do um, these at about seven and a half weeks. Usually our puppies go home in between eight to 10 weeks. And keep in mind, after we do these shots, you're gonna wanna do boosters every three weeks, okay? So it's important to stay on schedule to keep your puppies healthy. Um, and here comes our next cute puppy. Oh boy, is this Shiloh? This is Shiloh. <laughs> she is adorable. She's almost white. She's just gorgeous, isn't she, Mark? Mm -hmm. Love her. Um, there we go. I'm going to pull up. Going to insert. I'm sorry, Shiloh. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, she yawned while we're doing it. Must not hurt that bad, right? There we go. Um, while I'm rubbing this, I also want to talk about deworming. All of these puppies... All of these puppies have been dewormed at uh, weeks two, four, six, eight. And um, I would recommend you continue that. If you get a puppy home at eight weeks, thank you, that you continue that even till they're 12 weeks and then deworm your group of dogs every three months. It's just something very simple you can do to keep rid of, uh, of parasites. Um, again, I think I'll get this question. So this is the needle that we are using. It is a three mil, it's by Brand Zig. It's off of Amazon. And this is the shot we're getting, Nobavac, the first D-A-P-P-V, okay? So that we're giving them the Nobavac vaccination, okay? We have two more babies that we're going to get done. And we have these shot record books that we give all of our customers that lets them know, see, they've already um, let, lets them know when they've been dewormed and all of that great stuff. Okay. This is Serenity. I think this is Seren. Wait, no, wrong baby, wrong litter. Oh. <laughs> wrong orange. Yep, wrong orange. Okay, so you want to really make sure that you're not vaccinating puppies too early. However, if your puppy has been exposed to things like car parvo or things like that, your vet may um, tell you, hey, it's probably a good idea to do these vaccinations early just to pr protect your puppies. Um, we do not allow our puppies around any of our other dogs. Um, the only humans that are around them are very select few, um, completely sanitized. Um, and we also clean our area with kennel salt, which prevents parvo. This is Safari. Isn't he adorable? This is, look at his coloring. This is Safari. Ready, Safari? Going to sanitize his neck. Here we go. Going to pull up. There we go. Starbucks can be put away. <laughs> I'm going to rub his neck just like this. Good boy, Safari. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> Look at this boy. You did a great job too. One more, one more to go. Okay. And again, I'm going to, when I get off this video, I'm going to remove this sticker right here, this gray sticker. It shows the lot number and the expiration and serial number of the vaccination these puppies received. Why is that important? If they have a really negative reaction, your vet may want to report this to Novavac. It may be um, something that's um, up with the vaccination. And it's really important to track these and make sure that there's not a bad batch that's out there that can potentially harm puppies. Serena. This is Serena and she is our last one. There we go. Good girl. Once you move, rub the alcohol around a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Going to rub. As you can see, she's doing just fine. You're doing just fine. So guys, these are, um, the vaccination protocols. This is how we do it. As you can see, um, 
we really, it's a very contained environment, which is um, obviously more advantageous in many situations than loading the puppies up in your car, uh, bringing them to the vet, and maybe possibly exposing them to something that they, we obviously don't want to expose them to. So if you're able to do this, if you have a great relationship with your vet, if you have built that trust with your vet over the years, this may be something you might want to discuss with them um, that you, you're able to do at home. So I just wanted to show you how we do it here at Bold North Frenchies. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you want to uh, check out these puppies or any of our other puppies, you can head to boldnorthfrenchies.com and check out our website, learn about us, and we appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. Have a great day.